Hi, this is Elena from Korean Coach Helena. Have you ever thought about Korean terms of address? For example, what can you call me if you run into me on the street? Helena or 선생님 Helena 씨 현실 씨 What do you think? In fact, in terms of Korean addressing title, there are some difficulties even for native Korean in some ways. The reason is that uh, depending on what title they choose when they call someone, lots of information is revealed, like uh, speaker's personality or the relationship between speaker and listener or their relative positions or the intimacy. Besides, no matter how you're a foreigner or not, uh, if you choose a wrong title, then you can cause a problem in that relationship. On the other hand, if you choose the right title, then you can easily get a fit in that group of people or you can make really easily good relationships. Like this, this topic is very important and also tricky. That's why I had to study more than usual to convey this information and also the cultural knowledge, not just bubble information to you. Before that, let me give you a quiz. Number one, 당신, a more polite word of 너. Number two, an addressing title between the two people can be changed later. Number three, when you first meet Helena, <laughs> me, at the restaurant, you can call her, you can call me, Helena 씨. Can you guess? I will let you know what's the right answer at the end of this video. Then let's get started. The most important thing in Korean title is the hierarchy. In fact, the hierarchy is invisible, right? But as traditional factor of Confucianism, it is still strongly present. So how do you rank the hierarchy? It should take into account age, status, and mature respect. So we we'll look into from the first age. First, age. I think age is probably one of the most important things in Korean, especially in the private and informal relationships. I mean, in private relationships, age is more important than positions. Therefore, the word 친구 can be used with only the same age the people. You can share the deep friendship with uh, someone who is not the same age, but generally people don't call them 친구. If it's possible, maybe that's an exceptional relationship or situation. If I were those kids, of course I'm sure and come running to my parents calling, 엄마, 아빠. Yes, dad is called 아빠 and mom is called 엄마. But when people get older, 엄마 and 아빠 turn into 어머니, 아버지. Well, I don't think I'm old enough yet, you know, because I'm still calling my parents 엄마, 아빠. 언니, your candy looks better. Tina, is your candy alright? Yes, I'm pretending to be that girl in the middle. When the girl called the older sister on her left, she say 언니. And to her younger sister, she just call her name plus 아 or 야. If it ends in a consonant, just attach 아. If it ends in a vowel, attach 야. Taeyonga, I will wash you. Hyung, you don't have to. When a man calls his older brother, he's called an hyung, and little brother always is called his name with a or ya at the end. And these two siblings are like me and my brother. When man calls his older sister, she's called duna, and when older sister calls her younger brother, it is just a name plus a or ya. Duna, wait, Taeyonga. Oppa, come with me. Promise me with your little finger. Unjiya, 
You don't even know how, what is an appointment is yet. Aren't they so cute? This little girl will call her older brother, Oppa, when she can talk later. In a friend relationship, Koreans also call each other by the term that they share with their siblings. All you have to do is check your age. So, if I'm the youngest girl, I'll call them like this, 언니, 오빠, and they're older than me, so they will call my name like 현실아, right? And the guys will call each other 형 or name plus 아 or 야. Now, let's talk about the closer relationship we are. Usually, Koreans get closer when they drink. Hmm, right? Yeah, probably. Sometimes, I get to around 10 years older people. How should I call them? If you are in your 20s or 30s, you can call them 누나, 형, 언니, 오빠, like before. But if you are in 40s and over 50s together, calling them name plus 선생님, like Helena 선생님, or just 선생님. Yeah, it's all because of you. What? Don? What did you do well? Koreans rarely use you, no, directly. But sometimes they use no when they are angry with a friend or close relationship. So I want you not to use it, ya yeah, or no, possibly. Oppa, it's nice to go out for work. Tiana, let's come here again. In this kind of relationship, man is called oppa if he's older than girl. But if the woman is older, then he has to call her Duna. But some couple call each other Chagia, so it depends on that couple. In fact, Chagi means you and it's only used between couples. So if you say Chagia to someone else, well, it must be weird, right? And married couples at first seem to call each other by the name they used to when they were dating. But there is a title that only married couple can use. That is 여보. And approximately over 50s couple sometimes call each other 당신. The word 당신 means also you. And this can actually be found in many literaries, uh, in song lyrics and books and any writings. But it rarely speaks with people's mouth. If you're not married, you might only see them on the fighting. So, you'd better not to say the word 당신 before you married. <laughs>